So have you ever thought about or really considered the fact that if you work for a company 32 years and you've been putting it to retirement and they said it's a pension, that a couple of weeks before you come for retirement, a company could come to you and say, hey, we're going bankrupt. And that 30-year pension you've been putting in, that's gone. You know, that's happening with the yellow trucking. Um, they're going through a dispute, which is not uncommon right now because everyone's aware of uh, the union disputes with U UPS. They probably settled theirs now. Um, but the labor unions with entertainment, with the writer's strike and actors. But no one, and it oftentimes gets overlooked too much, in fact, that how much you... And we all believe that the company is going to be there because that's they market to us that way. They tell us so much that, hey, this will be here for your retirement. And so you commit 20, 30, 40 years of your life only to get there to find out that, hey, you're going to have to start from scratch, but you don't necessarily have the time to build that up. That's what's happening in the yellow trucking business. Well, again, they're working this out. And the reason for that is uh, they didn't fulfill their requirements for paying government uh, to ensure that that program could go on. And thus, meaning it's the company's fault, company's liability and company neglect. But yet the people who are hurt are the people who work for the company. And if you go on TikTok, if you go on YouTube, you'll see countless stories of um, many people's accounts of what's going on and how it's going to affect them. But the one thing that I always learned a little bit earlier is business is, is business. And the more I study money, I understand that companies don't handle their money as well as we would hope and as they should because they have people who have to put food on their table, have to provide for their families. And that right there is just wrong. I just don't agree with it. You provide this space, you tell people that, hey, we're going to provide this benefit for you. And then at the drop of a hat, not random, but really the accountability of you not making the correct decisions, following through to ensure that everything is correct for your people. No, you were wrong. You didn't file paperwork. You didn't set aside money for them. And thus, when it comes down that you become bankrupt, while that company is gone, but this person's retirement, the money that they're supposed to live on that they've been toiling for over the last years is gone. I say all this to say that this example is not many others that, we, that we've seen. Remember, uh, I have to bring it up, unfortunately, a few years back, Toys R Us went bankrupt and 401ks were gone. And when the company goes bankrupt, that money that you've been putting in the 401k and often leave with it. It's pro quite possibly one of the saddest things that and largest risk that many pose when they go to work for these companies and why people try to get with tried and true companies, but these were tried and true companies. The point is that you need to take control of your financial future. You need to invest for your own future. And if that company has a 401k and if you stay there and it all works out, great. But should that unthinkable happen and the doors close and uh, there was a wrong product offering this, a division gets cut, your retirement is taken care of because you've been saving in a Roth IRA in an investment firm away from them. And every time you leave a job, you roll it over to add momentum to what you're doing. It's in your control because those financial firms will back you. My point in all this is saying you have to take control of your financial future. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I want to help you build your wealth. Follow me for more.